Hello my friends, hello my friends and welcome to my kitchen. It is Monday, uh, February the 13th, so the day before Valentine's Day. And my poll today told me that a lot of you don't celebrate Valentine's Day. It's just another day. So if you're on say hi, if you're watching this on the replay, hashtag replay. I am streaming it tonight to my VIP page as well as to my YouTube channel. So uh what are we doing tonight so i came home from work today and i really honestly did not feel like cooking uh i grabbed the drawer full of takeout menus and took a look what was in there and i thought hello carol i thought to myself you know what no i'm not doing this i share with you all the time that Epicure is fast, it's quick, it's easy. And so tonight we are going to dig into our Epic box and we are going to grab something very quick, very easy. We're just gonna grab out our mac and cheese. It is in our Epic box this month and guys, it could not be faster. So. While our macaroni is in the microwave in our multi-purpose steamer, we are going to, and see my nice new sign that I got? Um, so while the macaroni is in the steamer, we're gonna put together some chocolate bliss brownies to go into the oven for Valentine's Day tomorrow uh, in our little muffin can pins. And uh, we are going to be done and back in front of the TV in no time at all. All right, let's get this show started. So, multi-purpose steamer, no tray, just the, the base and the lid. We're going to get two cups of macaroni into that steamer. And you could use any type of pasta that you have on hand. It doesn't have to be macaroni. It's a half a cup measurement that I'm using. So that's why I'm using four, just so nobody thinks that I'm putting four cups of macaroni into my steamer, because I'm not. All right, so that's two cups of macaroni into the steamer, and pop our lid back on our macaroni, because that needs to go back up in the cupboard. We're gonna take just some plain water. We're going to pour it over top of our macaroni, and I'm not even measuring it. It's just to the point that it covers your pasta. That's it. Lid on, tight. So make sure it's on there nice and tight. And then into the microwave for eight to 10 minutes, depending on your microwave. Okay, that's it. Pasta's in the microwave. Um, that's it. We're going to wait 10 minutes for that pasta to cook in the microwave. Then we're going to top it with our um, mac and cheese, some butter. I'm not going to use some milk tonight because I do have on hand from my Super Bowl episode on the weekend yesterday, I have some of our three cheese dip. So I'm gonna add that to my mac and cheese to make it extra cheesy. Gonna be delicious. All right, so while that's in the microwave, let's get our chocolate bliss brownies going. So in our bowl, we want a third of a cup of oil. And I pre-measured that out. And we want two eggs. No shells, please. And it goes. Okay, so two eggs into our bowl, a third of a cup of oil. I'm gonna grab our whisk. And we're just gonna beat that up. I'm not making mayonnaise, so we're just beating it to the point of it comes together. 
Then we're going to take our whisk out because I have learned that the hard way. Once you put your, your mix in there, you do not want to mix, whisk it because it gets very, um, it sticks in your whisk. Okay, quick wipe of my hands because I got egg on them. All right, so we're going to get our, so I could do this in the microwave as long as it's in our silicone either muffin tins or in our silicone square steamer I could do this in the microwave in the microwave it's going to take four minutes on high and then rest in the pan for six and then cool it off on a wire rack uh, in the oven at 350 it is going to take uh, 15 to 20 minutes cool in the pan and then it's good to go okay so in goes our chocolate bliss brownie mix so i have the oven preheated to 350. um this is one of those ones i really like the chocolate temptations cupcakes out of the microwave um this one i i'm not a fan of it out of the microwave i really am not um i will do it out of the microwave and i will eat it because it is chocolate brownies but I prefer it out of the oven. So there you have my preference on that one. To this, I'm gonna add some white chocolate chips and some score bits just because it's Valentine's Day. And hey, why not? So I'm just gonna get that all mixed in there. And like I said, this comes together really well. The problem with it is if you are using your whisk, comes cakey and your whisk is going to hold on to those ingredients and you're going to have a hard time getting them out. Trust me, I've done it. So I do recommend either a um, wooden spoon or a Epicure spatula. All right, so that is our chocolate brownie mix. That is our base. We are going to just scoop it. So still can a large bowl with two eggs with, and I knew I was wrong. It's a half a cup of oil, not a third of a cup of oil. So I need another little bit of oil there. I knew I was a little bit wrong on this because it just looked too dry. All right, let's get this bead in there. See, even, even someone that has made this a dozen times or more can make mistakes. And it happens. I could have cooked it, seen how it comes out, but I kind of knew it was a little bit too dry. Okay, let's get it into our muffin pans and then we're going to let it rest because it is a gluten-free batter so we are going to let it rest for about five minutes before we pop it into the oven now i'm using a muffin scoop probably too big of a muffin scoop i did mean to get my two tablespoon one out not my quarter cup so let me grab that. There we go. Yep, we're really doing well tonight. This is probably why I wasn't in the mood to cook tonight. I don't know why. Uh, maybe just the day I was having, I'm not sure. But here we are and we're gonna have macaroni and cheese and I'm gonna have some polished off brownie cupcakes or two bite brownies is what I want to call them for Valentine's Day tomorrow and yeah even when you don't want to cook this is I have to be oh I have to be honest cooking for me is therapy um, I don't mind cooking. I like cooking. 
especially when I'm do I, I do enjoy cooking. I have to be honest, I do enjoy cooking. I don't enjoy cooking when um, you've got a million and one things spread all over. You're not sure about the recipe, haven't made it before. Um, you know, you're just unsure about some ingredients. That's what Epicure is kind of, it's, it's done for me. Um, I can grab a package and I can be comfortable knowing that the, the instructions are there. The ingredients are all there. The instructions are there. Um, and it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, I saw Phil this post on the weekend um, about how her kids made the dip and how they like it because, um, you know, it's got step-by-step -step instructions. It's all, it's easy, right? Um, that's what Epicure is for me. It's easy. Um, a lot of, you, you will hear a lot of consultants say, I don't like to cook. And they don't. Um, that's why Epicure is so easy because whether you like to cook or whether you don't like to cook, it really isn't important. You have step-by-step -step instructions. You have most of the ingredients you need on hand. And so it's simple. All right. So we have a minute and 41 seconds left on our pasta. So there's our brownies. They're in our muffin tin. I don't know if they're gonna turn out or not because I messed up that oil, but we will find out. Maybe it'll make them a little bit cakier or maybe it'll make them a little bit denser. We're gonna find out. All right, so there's our brownies ready to go into the oven. I will take pictures and post them once they're done. I do have a little heart-shaped cookie cutter that I intend on cutting them, little heart shapes out. Ah, yeah, just something fun for Valentine's Day. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money for Valentine's Day. You can make something at home. And with just using a heart-shaped cookie cutter, I can have heart-shaped brownies that are delicious and ready to go. So it's that easy. And our brownie mix is fantastic. Like I said, it takes two ingredients, two eggs, half a cup of oil, make sure you use a half cup of oil, and the package. And you can bake it off in the oven. You could bake it off in uh, an eight by eight pan and cut cook and cut hearts out of it. Sky's the limit, guys. All right, our pasta is boiling over here. I can smell it. And I'm gonna pull it out. I should grab my oven mitts. One thing I forget all the time is the oven mitts. All right, let's grab those. All right, we got our oven mitts. I'm gonna pull out our pasta, which is steamy, and we only had about seven minutes left. So, let's get the lid off of that. Ooh, beautiful. It's definitely done. So while I'm over here, I'm just gonna strain it into a strainer in the sink. Pop that back up there. I'm gonna clear out the microwave. All right, we've got fully cooked pasta ready to go. So our pasta is cooked and strained. That was 10 minutes. We've also got brownies ready to go in the oven in 10 minutes. So, how quick is that? All right, we're gonna toss in there some butter. And I'm gonna toss in there, 
a little bit of milk. I don't think I need a whole lot, but I'm going to get my package of seasoning in there first, which is going to dry up all of that butter. Let's get this open. What did I do with the scissors? Oh, I don't, oh there they are on the counter. It's just not my evening, guys. All right, so let's get this open. Mac and cheese. So if you haven't had Epicure's mac and cheese, this is uh, very comparable to a President's Choice white cheddar mac and cheese. Uh, it is not a KD. It does not have food coloring in it. It does not have, um, it's lower in sodium, definitely lower in sodium than KD. Um, or any of a lot of the other ones out there on the market, even Annie's. Uh, ours compared to Annie's, which is a healthier version of mac and cheese, um, we are much lower in sodium. Okay. Now I'm just going to give that a shot of milk. I'm not measuring. I've made this one probably three dozen times. Um, and there are times when it, 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 sometimes it doesn't look like it's gonna turn out. So uh, sometimes I add too much cheese and it becomes very um, stringy. But hey, it's mac and cheese. Now I could add peas to this, I could add ground beef to this, I could add, oh, I could add my pulled pork to this if I hadn't put it in the freezer yesterday. Um, I could add some chili to this and make it a chili mac. This is such a great base for uh, dinner. Whatever you'd like in it. You could clean out the fridge. Oh, yes, we're gonna clean out the fridge. So I have some of our extraordinary cheese dip and I'm going to pop that in there. It's quite a bit, but that's okay. Pop that in there. Get it mixed in. And then I'm going to pop this back into the microwave just for a minute or two. Just because that cheese dip came out of the fridge. It didn't come out of the oven. If it was heated through out of the oven, I wouldn't need to reheat this. But... I'm just going to pop that back into the microwave for two minutes just to heat that through and then we will plate this and I will let you go because I'm going to have some dinner. All right, so bear with me for two minutes while we get this into the microwave. Put our lid back on there nice and tight. One thing to note about this lid, and I have to tell you this because I do it all the time, when it's an 8x8, eight eight, I kind of figure it should fit perfectly all the way around, and it does if you work it, but it actually works better, I find, personally, that it works better if you have the vents not lined up with your Epicure, on your sides but lined up on the other side I don't know why I just find it fits better all right and that it stays tight better okay let's get that in there for two minutes let's grab a plate and that is going to come out of the microwave in two minutes ooey and gooey and ready to go we're going to pop our brownies into the oven and we're going to set the timer for, I find in my oven it takes 20 minutes. And guys, that's it. Dinner is just about done. We're just going to plate this up and then I'm going to sign off for tonight and let you go. Um, and yeah, that's dinner. All in one pot in the, in the 
multi-purpose steamer. If I wasn't making brownies as well, that's the only pot I've had to clean tonight and wash a dish and a spoon and I'm done. So simple, easy, a quick dinner. Uh, our mac and cheese is one of my very favorite products. Not only do I love the taste of it, um, I love the fact that it is lower in sodium. Um, I also love the fact that when you purchase our mac and cheese, Epicure gives back. So for every um, package of mac and cheese that's purchased, Epicure donates a package of mac and cheese to the Food Banks of Canada. So you can't go wrong with mac and cheese. It is delicious, it is healthy, it's nutritious, and you can always have it with or without a protein. Um, it's a fantastic meal. Uh, it's cheap, it's easy. Uh, even the kids can make it. If they're old enough to use a microwave, they can make mac and cheese themselves. Okay? All right, let's grab that mac and cheese. Always a careful reminder. I always try to remind people when you're lifting the lid off your steamer, always lift it away from you because that steam could give you a nice facial. All right, this smells amazing. So let's get some of this mac and cheese plated and there you have dinner tonight. Oh uh, yeah, just a little bit more. I have been fasting all day. I am ready for something to eat. There is my mac and cheese with extraordinary cheese dip, ready for dinner, bon appetit. All right guys, if you are interested in any of the products tonight, shoot me a message. Uh, I will um, attach my link to my YouTube channel, my shopping link. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Um, and I will talk to you tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow making something else from our Epic Box. All right, guys, have a wonderful evening. Bye for now.